Soldier, according to Native, who died in October, may soon be permanently honored in Knox County. Tonight, the Knox County Commission is discussing a resolution to name a section of State Route 131 on East Emory Road after him. WATE 6 on your side reporter, Ella Wales, talked to his family about what it would mean to them. Ella. Army Specialist Jeremy Evans was killed after an Army vehicle overturned at a training area in Alaska. He was just 23 years old when he died. It is, it is a good saying. It's um, bittersweet. Jeremy Evans' grandmother describing her reaction after they found out a section of East Emory Road may be named after their grandson. That road, just a few houses down from where they live. I, I think it's really nice for him to be like recognized and just something like that that you could see like every day going to work or anything. I, I just feel like that'd be a really nice way to like memorialize him. Jeremy's grandfather was a veteran himself serving in the Vietnam War. He says their family has seen support from the community in Gibbs and beyond. I think it's an honor uh, for them to do that. We, matter of fact, we have just received a uh, certificate from uh, Alaska from the legislature up there uh, memorializing him. And uh, so for us, when things happen because of him, for what he's been through and, and things like that, I mean, I think it's great. Commissioner Richie Beeler is the sponsor of the resolution here in Knox County, but the naming efforts started at the state level. Representative Dave Wright is the House sponsor and Senator Becky Duncan Massey is the Senate sponsor. Well, it was an easy decision for me to, to be the sponsor. In fact, it was an honor, really, because, um, you know, Specialist Evans, I didn't know Jeremy well, but I had interacted with him a few times at, at school events and and he was just a just a tremendous young man. For his family, it's another way to honor Jeremy's memory. He was just a outgoing, fun loving guy and he would help just about anybody. Beeler says he expects County Commission to vote on the resolution at their meeting this Monday.